I'm gonna show you guys how to make the best homemade tortilla chips and guac. So we're gonna get a flour tortilla, cut it up into tiny pieces. Then we're gonna get some canola oil in our pan, nice and hot and throw your pieces right into it. Make sure to turn them halfway when they're starting to get brown. And when they all look nice and crispy, put them onto a plate with a paper towel to go ahead and dry. Okay guys, it's time to make our guac. We're gonna get our avocado halves and we're gonna do this life hack. Okay, get a wire rack, press down on both your halves just like this and move backwards. As you can see, the avocado comes out so much easier. Let's get started. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and start adding all of our ingredients to our guac. First things first, we're gonna get some white onion. We're only gonna use about, I'd say, one eighth of the onion, maybe even one fourth, okay? There we go, I say that's a good amount. And we're gonna go ahead, put it right on top of each other, nice and stacked. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I like to cut it. Go ahead, perfect. Look at that, look at all those little diced onions. And once we get to about here, this is when we can go ahead and go the opposite way. Perfect, guys. Check out these beautifully diced onions. White onion goes very, very well with this, but if you only have a red onion, um, go ahead and you can use that. Perfect. Go ahead, start adding your onion, and just add as much as you want. So if you like it super chunky like me, add a good amount. The rest we'll go ahead and we'll save for later, okay? Perfect. Now up next, we're gonna go ahead and add some tomatoes. Okay, we're gonna add, we'll add about this much. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to cut it. So go ahead, cut along it, just like that. And we're gonna make these small little cubes out of it. Perfect, so I'm using Roma tomatoes today, guys. I think that these are some of the best to use in guac, but if you have beef steak, or any other kind, those will work as well, okay? There we go. And I pre-sliced it, so just to make life easier while I show you guys, perfect. So as you can see, we have the white, the red, the green, all the colors are coming together beautifully. Up next, we're gonna go ahead and grab a jalapeno. So these things are nice and spicy. Start off by cutting off that top. We do not need that. And what I like to do is I cut it right down the center. There we go. And watch out, there's gonna be lots of seeds. Boom, check that out. Now, we only are gonna use half the jalapeno tonight, okay? There we go. I like to put the seeds down in case they come up flying. There we go, perfect. And I like to use all the seeds, guys, okay? The seeds are nice and spicy, which is my favorite, I love a nice spicy guac. And if you like spiciness too, then go ahead and use, you know, the seeds as well. Now I suggest using a half a jalapeno, but you know, if you do not like the spiciness, you can just use a fourth of it and you can even take out the seeds before you cut into it, okay? So keep that in mind, that's totally optional. And then I always like to kind of just go through with my knife and make it smaller just like this. Perfect, check that out guys. This looks great. We're gonna go ahead and add it to our guac, get those seeds, get all of these goodies. Perfect, fantastic. Now, we're gonna go ahead and grab our next ingredient. Our next ingredient is the delicious cilantro. Cilantro is delicious, guys. You can find it in tacos, in pasole, in so many Mexican and Hispanic dishes. It's so delicious. So, of course, we're adding it to our guac as it normally is in that as well. Perfect. Go ahead and add as much as you think is fitting. I like a lot of cilantro, so perfect. I think that's a good amount right there. And once we have that nice and cut up, I like to kind of go back through and just make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and add this to our guac now as well. Fantastic. Pick up all of those 
small bits. Perfect. So as our last ingredient, we're going to go ahead and get a nice, beautiful lime. Now, if you're not sure how to cut it, you can cut it this way or this way. It really does not matter. Perfect. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and add this to our bowl, okay? Ooh, that guy wanted to run away from me. So go ahead, add it. I like to go ahead and even use two hands just to make sure I'm getting all of the juices out. Perfect. All right. So we have one and we have two. Now, as you're doing this, be careful not to touch your face, especially your eyeballs, because you do have jalapeno on your hands still, guys. Okay, keep that in mind. The jalapeno can be real, real hot, especially when you're touching the seeds and all of those goodies, okay? There we go. Now it's time for our seasoning. First things first, we're gonna start with salt and we're gonna go ahead and add a very fair amount to this. Perfect. Be careful not to over salt. You can always add more, but you cannot add less once you have it in there. Next up, we have our garlic powder. Same thing, be careful not to put too much of this. There we go, perfect. And last but not least, we have our black pepper, guys. This stuff is so good. I mean, pepper's in everything, isn't it? So go ahead, add it in there as well. Throw it right in there, perfect. Fantastic, guys. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and start mixing this all up together to create the most perfect guac. Go ahead and keep mixing, guys. And as you can see, it mixes perfectly. You're not putting too much. <coughs> Woo, sorry, guys. This black pepper just getting to me. As you can see, the guac mixes beautifully because the avocados were the perfect ripeness. Perfect. This looks great. We're gonna go ahead and plate this now. Okay guys, this is nice and ready. Look at how beautiful it has been plated. I always plate it like this. And as you can see, these chips are perfect and golden. We're gonna go ahead and dip it right in. I want you guys to see exactly, look at that. We have some tomato, cilantro, onion. It is the perfect bite. I hope you guys enjoy.